To create a click track in your session or a metronome, go up to Track and choose Create Click Track. After you have done this, you will see that the click track will play as you hit play as long as the metronome button on the transport is blue. To change the tempo, you will need to select tempo in the ruler view selector. Make sure that you have the conductor track button turned blue. Once you've done that, you can double click on the red start marker and then click in the beats per minute field and tap T to the tempo of your song. You can also type in the tempo if you would like. Press enter and you'll see the tempo displayed up here on the tempo ruler. You'll also see it here on the transport window. Next, you can decide whether you would like a count off when you record and you can toggle that on and off with this count off button right here. You can also toggle that on and off with eight on the numeric keypad. By default, Pro Tools is set up to give you two bars of counting, and you can change that by double clicking in this window. And on the bottom part of this pop-up window, you can choose how many bars you would like for the count off. You also have other click options here. You can choose to have the click play during playback and record, or only during record, or only during count off. If you'd like to trigger an external MIDI device for your metronome, you can set that up right here in this window. If you'd like to change the sound of the click, just open the click plugin that's found on the click track. And if you're on Pro Tools 10 or earlier, the click plugin will look different, but you can change the sounds by going to the different presets found in the drop down menu right here. On Pro Tools 11 and later, you can change the sound of the metronome by clicking on these drop-down menus here and choosing a sound for the accented click. And right here, you can choose a sound for the unaccented click. Finally, you will want to be able to select a meter for your project. Let's say our song is in 3-4 time. Well, by default, you can see Pro Tools defaults to 4-4. So to change it to 3-4, we are going to need to use the ruler view selector to show the meter ruler. Once we do that, we can add a meter by clicking on this plus arrow, and we can go ahead and choose the meter that we would like. And we are going to have this meter start on measure one. And you can also choose what kind of subdivision you would like the click to click back at. So you could have the click play at eighth notes or 16th notes, half notes, and so forth. Now we have the tempo, the click track, and the meter set up and ready to go.